Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I get to share with you an unboxing of the Flavor of the Month kit from Scrapping for Less. If you're new, this is how your kit will arrive. And we're going to take a look. This is the June 2018 card kit. It comes in a priority mail envelope and then inside that envelope, it's usually wrapped up with a coordinating fancy envelope that coordinates with the theme of the kit. This month's theme is called At the Beach. And so let's just take a look at what comes inside. We're going to start off with the cardstock. Your cardstock is protected with some cardboard coverings. That way it doesn't get damaged during the mail. Now you get two sheets of Nina 110 pound cardstock. Great for card bases and Copa coloring. You get a blue, it's blue raspberry, razzleberry, orange fizz, red hot, Limeade and Night Shift Blue. And these um, colored card stocks are from MFT. So you get eight sheets in total. Great for card bases or backgrounds. Now this is your collections. In Scrapping for Less's Flavor of the Month kits, there's always four collections. And so if you actually subscribe to the Double Dip Sunday, you'll get all four collections and the card stock. So let's jump in and take a look at collection number one. Now for the pattern paper, it's by Cartabella and it's called Summer Splash. You get six double-sided six by six sheets and fun beach theme. Love the colors in here. Now with Scrapping for Less, what they do is they take a paper pad and they divide it between um, the collection. So the papers I show you, you may not get, but it will be part of the same collection. Now this is your stamp set by Avery L. And it's called Sea Prize. It's so cute. In fact, I actually made a shark card a while back with that. You get an envelope. And then you get some ephemera pieces from Echo Park's um, Summer Splash collection also. You One more. <laughs> and then you get coordinating Kennedy Gray sequins. A little baggy, but a little baggy goes a long way. Great for stash building. So that's, oh, and you get some enamel dots. These are also from Cartabella. So that's everything in collection number one. Let's take a look at collection number two. For the pattern paper, it's the Under the Sea collection by Echo Park. And these are double-sided as well. And you get six sheets. Beautiful patterns, a lot of ocean themed. I like that. Now for your stamp set, this month you get a 4x6 stamp set. This is also by Echo Park and it's called Vitamin C. A lot of fun little sentiments in there and it coordinates with the papers beautifully. So you get that, your envelope here. Each collection comes with an envelope which is nice. And then you also get some ephemera pieces with collection number two. And these are the Under the Sea Frames and Tags by Echo Park. So cute. Now your ephemera pieces will vary also. But these are your sequins. They're from Kennedy Grace. And these ones are extra special because it comes with little seashells. I've never seen a, sea a seashell sequin. But they are so pretty. So you get a bag of those. And then you get three little wooden anchors. I got a white, a blue, and a navy blue. So that's everything, collection number two. Now for collection number three, let's take a look. For your pattern papers, these are actually from Little Darling Rubber Stamps and it's called You Are My Sunshine. These are single sided and they're beautiful beachy themed and I love the colors in here. And you get six sheets of those. Your stamp set is also by Little Darling's Rubber Stamps and it's called Just Beachy. This is cute. It's got the little sand castle in there. That's going to be fun to play with. So you get that. Your envelope. Then you can also get a specialty die. This is from Jeannie Marie Designs and it's a Adirondack chair, if I said that right. <laughs> and then you get three puppy stickers, your coordinating Kennedy Gray sequins, and that's everything in collection number three. Now for collection number four, your pattern paper is from Doodlebug. So cute. And it's called Sweet Summer. These are double sided and you get six sheets. And again, your paper might vary because um, the collection is divided. 
I like the little cut aparts. Those are so cute. Love those two colors together. <laughs> then you get the little sunshines. They're so sweet. Now for your stamp set, it's by Sunny Studio and it's called Sending Sunshine. It's a cute little stamp set with a palm tree and a little parrot. A couple sentiments, which is so nice. And then you get some icon stickers from Doodlebug. And it's the same collection, the Sweet Summer collection. You get your Kennedy Gray sequins. And then you get some dolphin and gem stickers, which are so cute. And they have little stickers on the, or uh, stickies on the back. But that's everything in collection number four. Now this month, Scrapping for Less is including in both the Banana Split and Double Dip Sunday a sticker sheet. Nice little holographic sticker sheet that's beach themed. So you'll get that. And then if you get the Banana Split level, you get an extra goodie bag. So we're just going to take a look. Now the Banana Split level gets a sentiment stamp. This month it is by Scrapping for Less. It's an exclusive. And it's called um, at the beach sentiment stamp and it's cute because it has a lot of beach sentiments and then a couple images too which is wonderful. You get a lawn fawn um, ocean waves die set here and then you also get some sweet summer chit chat. These are by Doodlebug's um, sweet summer collection so you get a few pieces of those. So cute. And then you get a mini ink cube. Now your mini ink cube will vary. Different colors will go out. I happen to get the red here and it's really pretty red. In fact, it coordinates with the red hot MFT cardstock beautifully. Okay, and then you get a piece of candy, which I'm gonna have right now. <laughs> well, right then, <laughs> I'm doing a voiceover so I, I can talk and and not have to worry about eating my candy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put this aside. So if you get the banana split level, you get all four collections and then the extra goodie bag plus your card stock. So that's everything for the double dip Sunday and also for the banana split level. So today we're gonna to be making some cards using the sketch sheet. And speaking of the sketch sheet, um, Scrappy for Less has downloads. Now this is an ingredient sheet that gives you everything that is included in the Scrapping for Less Flavor of the Month kit this month. And I'll leave a link below in the description area um, if you want to download it. Um, and then also available for download is a sketch sheet. Every month Scrapping for Less um, provides a sketch sheet, which are very handy. In fact, I'm going to make four cards today using the sketch sheet. And so, again, links will be below to where you can check that out. And they're free, so you guys, whether you have the kit or not, you can still download. But we're going to start off with our first card. I cut out a panel. My panel size, the largest one, is four inches by five and a quarter. And then the navy blue one is one and three quarters inch by four and a quarter inches. And then I cut out a couple fishtail banners with the pattern paper and then a frame. Now the inside piece of my frame here is two inches by three and a quarter. I'm going to use that to stamp my sentiment. And so it's a pretty large sentiment so I grab my mini Misty. This sentiment says all you need is some vitamin C which is so cute. I'm just going to ink it up with my Stampin' Up! ink. This is actually um, Knight of Navy I believe. And my magnet kept getting in the way. <laughs> Next, I'm going to stamp the two little fish that came in the stamp set. The first one, I'm going to use Watermelon Wonder. The second one, I'll use a Crushed Curry. We're going to ink those up a few times. Get a nice, crisp, solid image. Okay, now I had already attached my panel and my navy colored pattern paper to my card base. Now I'm just going to use my tape runner and adhere my fishtail banners. My card bases for all four cards today are A2 in size. And so I'm using my frame as a guide and then I'm going to, I already added adhesive behind my sentiment and I just stuck it down on my panel. Okay, now I'm going to pop up my panel with some foam tape. And then place that right over the top of my sentiment. And then I got ready to press down and I thought, you know what, there's some little bubbles in the stamp set. So why not fill in my background with a few little bubbles. So I grabbed a gray ink, this is soft granite, 
and I'm going to stamp a few bubbles. Now I did grab a piece of masking paper to mask off the bottom and the top. Since I had already adhered my pattern paper, I didn't want it to go on my pattern paper. So the mask helps out. So we're just adding a few little gray bubbles. One more on the bottom here. Lovely. Okay. Now we're going to add our frame. Okay, I did add foam tape behind my little fishies. My little fish, I call them fishies. <laughs> but I placed them on the bottom of my card base. And then to make my bubbles pop a little bit, I'm going to go in with some Nuvo Morning Dew Jewel Drops. It's like a glossy accent almost. Now for my fishes, fishies eyes, I'm going to make my own little eyeballs. So I added some Nuvo Simply White jewel drops and then I'm going to dot them with some ebony black jewel drops and it creates a real fun 3D eyeball. <laughs> I just tapped it to flatten them just a bit but that finishes off card number one using sketch number one here. The nice thing about the sketches is you can kind of um, use them as a guide so that's what I try to do but here's some close-ups. Now we're going to make another card. For card number two, we're going to use sketch number two and collection number four. I'm going to, I love the doodle bug pattern paper. Now this card is, is kind of not beach themed. I wanted to show you the versatility of the kits. So I grabbed the orange polka dot pattern paper and the little sunshine pattern paper. With the orange, I'm going to cut out a panel now this panel is four inches or three inches by four and a quarter and then I'm going to also cut out a panel with the orange polka dot pattern paper that's two and a half inches by three and three quarters. Now I wanted to use a little lemonade cut apart here so just using my scissors I'm going to cut that out and I think that's going to make a real fun focal point for my card. Now um, I wanted it to pop a little bit more, so I'm just going to use my tape runner and adhere that to a piece of white cardstock and I'm going to mat it, just leaving a little bit of a white border. And um, when you do this um, to an image, I think it just makes it stand out against a pattern paper. You can see here. Okay, now I also cut out a large white panel that's four inches by five and a quarter. Um, at first I wasn't going to use the stamp set, but then I thought the palm tree is kind of cute and I really wanted to play with it. So I'm going to stamp it with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink on a piece of white cardstock. And then just using my Copic markers, I'm going to color it in. I thought while I'm at it, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. So I chose the sentiment. It's so cute. It says sending you hugs and I stamped that with VersaFine ink. But I'm just going to color in the tree trunk with a couple browns. I have E70 and E74 for shading. I did leave the coloring in. It was fairly simple. And I'm just going to uh, blend everything together back in with my E70. And then for my the top of my palm tree, I'm going to use a couple greens. I used G40 and then G43. And again, I'm not going into real big detail. I just wanted a little bit of a light color. <clears throat> I'm going to do a little bit of shading with G43. And then I'm going to end up um, using a stitch sentiment die to cut out my sentiment. And then I will go ahead and fussy cut out my palm tree. So there we go. Okay, now we're ready to assemble our card. I'm going to actually attach the polka dot paper to my sunshine paper with my tape runner. And then we'll flip this over and add some foam tape behind here. And I, again, I, it wouldn't be one of my cards if I didn't get it crooked. <laughs> but um, the sketching had a uh, pattern paper, um, a strip of it behind um, the front panel. so. The icon sticker sheet 
had this little border I just trimmed it out down and added it behind my panel there just to give a little bit of an accent but here I'm taking my 3M foam tape and I'm gonna pop up my panel and then place that right in the center and then this way the stripe sticker kind of looks like a continuous strip I kind of cheated a little bit but it works <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to pop up my cut apart and place that in the center and I did pop up my sentiment too. I added some foam squares behind my palm tree and then in the icon sticker sheet there's two, there's a lemon and an orange. I'm going to use my anti-static powder tool to remove the tackiness off of it and then I'll um, go ahead and add a foam square and pop those two up. And we're going to place them on the bottom of our palm tree. So not really a beach theme card, but I think it turned out so cute. <laughs> Very summery. I finished it off with some Winky Stella for a little bit of shimmer. And that's it for card number two, using sketch number two. Okay, now we're going to use sketch number three. Here's some close-ups. And card number three. Now I'm going to use the stamp set here and I, I wanted to use the little seals. I thought they were just so cute. So I this, these were in collection number three. I'm going to stamp them with my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And here I stamped two, um, but I end up stamping another one later on and creating three. I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. Sentiment for this card I chose sealed with a kiss. And I just colored them in and fussy cut them out. And then we're going to work on our back panel. This panel here is a piece of white cardstock. It's four inches by five and a quarter. And I'm going to run that through the, my die cut machine with um, an embossing folder. And then using my circle die, I'm going to cut out a full circle and then two half circles. Well, a little less than half circles. <laughs> and I made sure when I cut those out that my, my waves were still going the same way. I thought just a little bit of color would be nice, so I'm going to just cut out a strip of these little lifesavers. Okay. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of, of adhesive on the back of my circle because I wanted to use the Lawn Fawn Ocean Waves dies. Um, I grabbed two of them and what the Ocean Wave dies do is they create waves where you can tuck things in. So I grabbed two of them, a large one and then a small one and placing it on my full circle I'm just going to cut out two little sections to where I could tuck. I thought it would be fun to have my little seals coming out of the ocean waves. So I went ahead and ran that through my die cut machine and then I attached my lifesaver pattern paper and then for all the circles I'm just kind of measuring and then I'm going to pop um, all of them up with some foam tape, foam squares, sorry. Now for my largest circle I did trim it down so it fit my panel but when I add my foam squares I'm kind of um, leaving room around my die cut area because I still want to be able to tuck my seals in there. I'm just removing the release paper and then I'm going to place that in the corner there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to my card base. Okay, now we're going to arrange our little scene. I'm going to trim down my sentiment just a bit and then I'm going to add a piece of foam tape behind there. At this point I was still debating wh where I should put it and I think the bottom was the best home for it. <laughs> we're just going to add some foam tape behind here and I actually doubled it up um, a little bit on the end because I have a little bit that's going to be overhanging uh, on my circle area so I had to double it up. We're going to stick that down. 
<clears throat> and now I'm going to try and figure out my placement with my little seals. And here is where I decided to add, um, go ahead and stamp and color another seal. Because um, two, it just wasn't balanced enough for me. <laughs> but So I went in ahead and stamped and colored in and fussy cut out another little seal. We're going to add a piece of foam tape behind him and stick him on top of the sentiment there. And I think that looks a lot better. <laughs> Now I use my tape runner to stick my little seals inside my little waves and then I'm going to add a little piece of foam tape towards the, the top of them so they have a little bit of dimension. So cute. Now for bells and whistles I'm going to add a few of the Kennedy Gray sequins just using some glue. And that oh and then I did go in with my Wink Estella shimmer pin. These sequins are, are this, don't have any curve to them. They're they're flat. They're really neat. By just adding a little bit of Wink Stella, and that finishes off that card. So cute. Using sketch number three. I like to show you guys the sketches just so you could see, because I mean, see the variation that you can create with it. Okay, here's some close-ups. Now we're gonna move along to our final project for today using sketch number four. Now for sketch number four I'm going to use collection number one so I grabbed the stamp set. Now I had already made a card previously with the shark so I thought well, we're going to use a little puffy fish today. So I stamped him and also the little horn on a piece of white cardstock and I'm just going to color him in. For my fish I decided to go in with some oranges and yellows. Just real simple coloring, but I wanted to use some bright, vibrant colors. I kind of coordinated with the same colors that were in um, in the same collection. And for the little party hat, I'm going to be using some um, greens and pinks. And since I had them out, I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and use those same colors to color in the little hat and then the little horn. Now um, I do have the coordinating dies. The kit does not come with coordinating dies but I do have them and I went ahead and used those to um, cut them out but I think they're nice. My little puffer fish is so cute but now I'm going to take some circle dies and I'm going to cut out two circles, a large and a small one on this wave pattern paper. The smaller one, I wanted a majority of the blue because that's where we're going to stamp our sentiment. Now I also cut out um, three strips of, I believe these are three quarter inch strips. I actually cut out four when I only needed three, but um, these are little bottle caps and I thought they were so cute and I really like the colors. So I'm just going to layer them three in a row. Okay, now I want to stamp my sentiment. My sentiment for this card, I chose a little extra puff for all those little for all those candles. I used my anti-static powder tool and then I'm going to ink up my sentiment with my Versamark ink. I am going to go over it with some um, white embossing powder so it stands out and then I went ahead and melted it. So there's my sentiment. Now let's kind of arrange how we want it to go here. I know I want the larger one there. The smaller one's going to go right on top. Now I added my fish and I thought it needed a little bit more. So in this little stamp set, there's two sets of um, little bubbles. I put both of them on an acrylic block and I'm going to stamp them on the larger circle kind of around my puffer fish with my Versamark ink. And then I went ahead and added some white embossing powder and I went ahead and melted it. Kind of skipped that step, but um, just to make it stand out. You can see down there, um, I, I stamped three sets. Now I created a, a fishtail banner with the stripe pattern paper in this collection. And I just popped that up with some foam tape and I'm going to place that on my panel. 
now I don't know if I told you guys, but this panel, the white background panel is four inches by five and a quarter. Now I'm going to add a one piece of foam tape to the right and then use my tape runner on the left. That way my banner and my circle are the same level. Then I'm going to add a piece of foam tape behind my sentiment, some foam squares. We're going to place that on our little scene. Lovely. We're going to add some foam squares behind our little puffer fish and it's his little horn there. We're going to place them on our little scene. Now I really wanted the bubbles to stand out so I decided to add some sequins around my little panel and I used the, the Kennedy Gray sequin mix that came with this collection. First we're going to attach this panel to our card base. Sorry about the wobbly camera. I thought I had fixed it but it's a, um, that's what happens when you don't know much about electronics. Sorry about that guys. But to add more bubble effect I'm going to go in over all my bubbles and the top of my sequins with some Nuvo Morning Dew Crystal Drops. These are like um, glossy accents, so they'll dry clear. But lots of bubbles going on in this card. So that's card number four using sketch number four. Here's some close-ups. And here's a look at all four cards that I made today with Scrapping for Less June 2018 Flavor of the Month card kit. I hope this gives you some inspiration. There's a lot of inspiration out there today, guys. Scrapping for Less is celebrating the, um, the brand new card kit with a blog hop. So I encourage you to check that out. I'll leave a link down below for you guys. But, um, and links for for the Scrapping for Less subscriptions if you're interested. I wish you a fantastic day. Have a wonderful weekend and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.